Hey guys, this is your Arsu and you review the LEGO Classic Fun Future. So this is the box itself right here and as you can see, it's recommended for just 5 to 99 uh, This is set 10402. You have the Building Bigger Thinking logo right there. You have this question mark with the LEGO logo. You have the builds and a very nice box art. Um, you have the side. This is the top. You have the actual size of a 2x2 uh, two two brick. You have this 60 years anniversary logo. You have the side. Uh, you have the bottom. And finally, this is the back. It comes with 185 pieces as uh, shown here. Uh, this is the parts list, which is pretty cool that they listed out on the back of the box. And yeah, you have. Uh, instructions and yeah aside from that that's pretty much it for the box so this is the instruction manual right here and this instruction manual is um, special um, because it, it shows you the history of the Lego brick Lego company and stuff like that and yeah uh, not much but yeah there are some nice images here they look cool and yeah this this right here with all the builds, you have the instructions, and you have the next one which is here for the go kart, and you have the last one for the parrot and the microphone, and at the back you have this. And you have the ads here for the LEGO Friends, LEGO Classic, and also LEGO City. Um, they look pretty nice. And you have the parts list. And yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it for the instructions. So this set does come with one minifigure, which is this um, normal minifigure. Um, this kind of plain minifigure. Um, yeah, he has this racing helmet in white. Uh, you have the visor. And under the helmet, you have the smiley face, which is a classic face. He has a red colored torso, and he also has a blue colored uh, legs. And yeah, he does have two extra hair piece, which is this uh, long uh, girl hair piece, which you can put it on, and it will be a she. And you can put this boy hair piece on, and it will be a he. It's pretty cool that they have uh, included two different hair pieces, so they can kind of uh, change genders. So that's great. But aside from that, that's pretty much it for the minifigure. So you have three major builds, um, and they are all right here. You have the robot, you have the singing parrot, and you have the go kart. So let's start with the robot. So this is the robot itself right here. So let's start with its legs. So the legs, they cannot be moved. They are uh, attached to the torso part uh, with these two jumper pieces. And for the torso, you have this printed piece right here, which is pretty cool. There's two of them in this set, and you have this red stud right here. You have a little bit of this design right here. You have the arms or the hands. Um, yeah, they are connected to a ball joint, so you can kind of you can make all types of poses out, out of the figure. And he does have a clip piece at the end. And uh, for its head, you have the eyes, which are represented by these two green studs. You have its mouth, which is this grill piece. You have the ears, I believe, which uh, they are represented by this uh, lever piece, which is cool, I guess. And you have this top part. And yeah, this is the back. Nothing else too interesting. So yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it for the robot. So the second build right here is the go-kart build. Um, so this is a very small go-kart. Um, yeah, it kind of looked big in the box, but it's actually quite small. This is my hand compared to it. And uh, let's start with the front. So the front, you have this uh, bar piece right here. Nothing too interesting at the front. You have uh, the steering wheel, which you can kind of turn around and you can kind of adjust the angle of it. You can move up and down. And the side, you have this grill piece. And at the back, you have this engine part with this exhaust, I believe. And you can kind of move this up and down if you want to. 
and you have four of these wheels and they look really nice and there's also a seat which you can put the minifigure on so yeah he sits in there pretty nicely so yeah aside from that that's pretty much it for the go-kart and the third build here is the singing parrot so let's start with the microphone so the microphone is on a stand and you can move it kind of up and down and change the angle of it and you can kind of turn this around it's on a lightsaber hilt piece and the microphone itself is just three pieces it's a very simple build but it looks uh, pretty accurate um, and for the parrot itself um, let's start with the bottom so you have its feet right here and uh, to the head you have the beak right here you have its eyes which they are printed and uh, they look nice and you have all the different colors of uh, this parrot you have the tail and you have this uh, very nice looking uh, back part um, and it looks pretty nice with all the different colors and stuff like that and at the side you have uh, the wings which they are connected to this ball joint uh, and yeah they look nice as well they are very small but they look nice and yeah Aside from that, that's um, pretty much it for the parrot. So these are all the leftover pieces uh, after you finish building uh, the builds that's in, in shown in the instructions. And you can use these pieces to build alternative builds that's also shown in the instructions, but they don't show you the instruction for it. But yeah, you do get some very nice pieces here. I have already shown you two of these uh, hair pieces. Um, you get this green apple piece, um, you get this blue color modified uh, 1x2 I guess, and yeah, you get this uh, purple slope, um, you get this Technic uh, kind of ball piece, yeah, you have a lot of uh, nice pieces in here, and yeah, uh, this one, this is a printed piece of the 60 year anniversary uh, logo so yeah that's pretty cool and I have uh, attached it to a r red brick and yeah I mean this is kind of a display piece but um yeah I mean you know these are all of the pieces and aside from that that's really it for all of the builds so overall conclusion of this set here so how do I think of it well, I definitely think the set itself, it's definitely great. Um, you get a lot of pieces uh, for a cheap price. And yeah, uh, you do get some very nice pieces and you get some printed pieces as well, like this one. And yeah, I mean, the minifigure, it may be plain, but it's nice to get a minifigure in such a cheap set. And yeah, I think of the builds that's shown in the instructions, they are all great. This is also a great starter pack since it comes with uh, a lot of pieces and yeah, it also comes with a minifig which is like pretty much everything you need for a starter pack. And this is the like the mid range for the uh, 60 year anniversary sets and I think this is the best one out of all of them. Bigger ones, they may have better builds, but yeah, they are a little bit more expensive. So that's that. And yeah, I mean, if you want a nice uh, Lego starter pack or you want like uh, a lot of nice pieces, then yeah, I think that you should definitely pick this set up. And yeah, I definitely recommend you getting this set if you want it. So, buttons are set here down in the description box below, along with all of my social media pages down in the description. So, if you love my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you very soon.